episode of Radical Reviews is brought to you by Grandma Patty's Pet Pills. Hey moms, are you worn out from doing laundry, cooking meals, and scrubbing the kitchen floor? Of course you are. Being a modern woman is hard work. Just take one of Grandma Patty's Pet Pills and you'll be done in no time. Grandma Patty's Pet Pills also help you lose weight, so you can squeeze under that dress again. Grandma Patty's Pet Pills. Put a pep in your step today. And now, back to the show. Yo, 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 it's your boy, the old school radical gamer dude. Bam! 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 Yo, we got a brand new review, coming in hot. Check it out. Castlevania on the NES. This one's a bona fide classic, yo. Hard as balls, but as fun as... Fun as balls, yo. Bam! So, before we get to the review, let's go ahead and read a fan letter. Dear old school radical gamer dude, this is your third and final notice. You are 21 days past due on your electric bill. Bam! Yo, so send your letters into the studio, and we might read your letter in a future episode. Let's go ahead and get to this review. Castlevania on the NES. Yeah! Castlevania. The name itself is enough to strike fear into the hearts of even the most experienced gamers. Released in 1986 for the Nintendo Entertainment System and published by Konami. Castlevania follows Simon Belmont as he traverses through Dracula's castle battling bats, fishmen, ghouls, fleamen, skeletons, Knights, and the infamously annoying Medusa heads, whose movement patterns confuse and frustrate players. Simon's primary weapon is his whip, which can be upgraded twice. The first upgrade makes it deal more damage. And the second upgrade makes it longer. He also has access to a secondary weapon as he picks them up along the way. By pressing up and attack, he can throw the daggers, axes, crosses, and holy water. Some secondary weapons are more useful than others. Hearts act as ammo for your secondary weapons. Most weapons cost one heart each time you use it. Whipping the candles on the castle walls will reveal items such as whip upgrades, secondary weapons, hearts, and bags of money. Destroying certain blocks will uncover a variety of items including the popular pork chop, 
which will partially refill your health bar. several monsters protecting this castle. There's a giant phantom bat. A disembodied Medusa head. Frankenstein's monster with Igor. And the Grim Reaper himself, Death. Every time you defeat a boss, a red orb drops down. Once you have defeated all of the castle's minions and collected every red orb, it's time to face the Lord Vampire himself, Count Dracula. of skill you have acquired over the course of the game. After you have defeated Dracula's human vampire form, you must fight a secondary form, which is a demon. Rawr. Once Demon Dracula has been vanquished, the game comes to an end. <laughs> Dracula has been returned to his final resting place. Simon Belmont's legacy has been fulfilled. Yo, so there it is, Castlevania on the NES. Let's go ahead and check the Reactometer 4000 and see where it lands. Whoa, radical! 8.5, dudes. Bam! That's a totally radical score. So, like, Castlevania, you should totally check it out. It's a totally radical game. Bam! Yo, 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 totally check it out. Bam! So that's it for this episode. Bam! I'm the old school radical gamer dude. Check you later, dudes. Yeah.